What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is one I'm really excited about. This month, my artwork is appearing on a book cover for the first time ever, and it's something I'm really, really excited about. My friends at Tobin James Winery, which is my favorite wine in the whole world, they're my dear friends, they commissioned me to create a painting for their first ever cookbook, which was an incredibly cool project for me for a million reasons. I've been a painter my entire life. I've always wanted to have my artwork on the cover of a book, but it's also really special because these folks are some of my best friends in the world and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this creative project with them. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of what it was like to conceptualize and create this artwork. And then I'm gonna take you along with me as I go to Paso Robles, where their winery is, to see the cookbook in person for the first time, to sign some of the prints and to create a couple of artist proof gicle prints which if you don't know is basically a high quality print of the painting with extra brush strokes that are added by the artist at the end so they're rare there's only a few of them so come along with me and check out what this whole process was like so if you've been following me for any amount of time you've probably seen Tobin James and me talk about it, drinking it, all kinds of stuff. It's my favorite wine. These are some of my favorite people and we vacation together, all kinds of stuff. What they wanted for this cookbook cover was just sort of a quintessential representation of their tasting room, their beautiful property in Paso Robles. They wanted a few different components. So they were looking to include most of all, the tasting room, which is this really beautiful building that is kind of designed in a saloon style. And this guest house, this adorable Victorian, beautiful yellow cottage where they have three guest rooms. So I knew I wanted to include both of these elements in my painting, but you can see here, this is what the property looks like on Google Maps. It's hard to get a good picture when you're in person there of everything all together the way that I felt like they deserve to be represented. So what I did was I got my iPad, I took some of my favorite photos of these two elements individually, and I tried to sort of try on what would it look like for these to be you know, on the same plane together in this quintessential sunset view of the tasting room and the property um, there in Paso Robles. And they knew they wanted the vineyards in the background. They wanted it to be a sunset. You know, the sunsets up there are just absolutely beautiful. There's palm trees, there's this really beautiful windmill, and it's just got like a really magical vibe. So I mocked this up on my iPad and sent it to them, let them know the direction that I was thinking about for the painting, and as soon as they they gave me a couple of tweaks and said, we love it, let's do it. I got to work on the painting itself. So this was an incredibly fun challenge for me. This is really a little bit different than a lot of the art that I typically create because I wasn't going off of one real life picture. So this was a bit more whimsical than some of the art that I've created in the past. You guys have seen me paint you know, my songs here on YouTube and on social media. I love to paint and I love to paint all different types of stuff, but a lot of the time I'll paint from a reference photo or from a reference landscape or a reference, you know, a person, something that is sort of more realistic. This, I needed to get creative and use my imagination a little bit and allow myself to just have fun picturing, you know, how can I visually represent this in a way that's realistic, but also a little bit whimsical, a little bit magical. You know, I really wanted to bring this magical aspect to it because that really is sort of how you feel when you're there. It's a really beautiful, magical place. So we put Nola in the car. We drove up the coast to Central California wine country in Paso Robles, which if you've never been, is such a cute town. The downtown is adorable. And we went up to the tasting room to see the cookbook for the first time ever, which was incredibly exciting for me just to, to see my artwork finally in person on a book cover. Okay, so I'm here in the Tobin James tasting room, one of my favorite places on earth. And this is the cookbook. It's here in the flesh. I'm so excited to see it finally. This is my painting on the cover of this book that so many of my friends uh, contributed to and made so beautiful and I'm extremely honored to be a part of it. I'm really, really excited about this, like beyond excited. So I am here today to do some brush strokes on the serigraphs, the gicle prints that we made of this so that they are not just prints, but so that they have some original brush strokes from the artist too. We got a nice helper here, this is Nola. <laughs> Ooh, all she wants to do is explore the tasting room. She's helping me decide which 
colors as you use, right? She's, she's very important to the creative process. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll put a link in the description to Tobin James Wine and their winery where you can pick up the cookbook or a print of my painting. And be sure to subscribe for more fun vlogs, music videos, all kinds of good stuff soon. Thanks guys.